Ugh, what now? What do you want, Carol? Can't you see I'm busy pretending to care about my job? Just spit it out already. Actually, I have a way for you to save time so you're able to clear out your schedule for the day and have your next calendar month free. Are you interested? Oh, great. Another soul card time, same solution. Look, I've heard all before, but none of it actually saves time. So thanks, but no thanks. Oh, really? That's a shame because Jim next door, he's actually in Hawaii now because he saved himself two months. But I guess you're too good for it, huh? Who the hell are you to bring up Jim next door on a stupid paradise vacation? I don't have time for this nonsense. Get lost before I lose my temper. Door close. Okay. Wow, that didn't work. She's annoying. Oh, there's a lot more police out. I can't believe that, like, here's the problem. I know what I dressed up as, but I don't know what kind of a conversation I had with her. Like, I was a naked firefighter, and somehow I got her to let me in. There was coffee. She wants coffee. Okay. I need to ditch the clothing. Is this her house? This is not her house, right? It's not. Oh, how dare you come to my door at this ungodly hour. What nefarious experiments are you conducting now, mad scientist? Hello, I have developed a pill that you can take that will let you grow out wings, much like yours. And I need a test subject. Are you interested? How dare you mock my wings by suggesting such a ridiculous pill? Get out of here with your false promises. Well, well, look who's here. Isn't it the Mars Marvel? Are you here to perform surgery on my funny bone just for some laughs? Hello, I have developed a pill that will instantly transport you to a concert. Are you interested in being my guinea pig? A pill that transports me to a concert? Sounds like a great way to skip traffic and overpriced tickets, but I got asked. Will also teleport me away from terrible opening acts. Absolutely, you just have to time the dosage, and then it should transport you immediately. So just make sure that you take it right before the act that you want to see. Well, oh well, a pill that guarantees I don't miss the good stuff and get stuck with the bad. Now that's music to my ears. Count me in, Doc, but just promise me the pill won't make me break out and show tunes, because my dancing skills are questionable at best. Oh, it's perfectly safe, don't you worry. But first, I'm going to need to ask you some questions just to make sure that I give you the correct dosage. Is that okay? Oh, you're concerned about giving me the right dose? How thoughtful of you, Doc. Go ahead, hit me with your questions. Just remember, the only thing stronger than my desire for good music is I love for a good roast. Okay, no worries. Oh, damn. I don't have a pen. Do you have a pen? I might need to write some stuff down. I'm in the hole. A pen, huh? Well, it's a good thing I come always prepared. I've got one here, but I'll only lend to you if you promise not to use doodle pictures of me in your lab notes. Trust me, my looks aren't worth wasting in ink on. Okay, great. Let's get this survey started. Uh, could we sit down and do this? My legs are a bit tired. Uh -huh. Oh, tired legs, huh? I guess all that standing in the lab must be is something. Sure, have a seat, Doc. Just be warned, my chairs aren't the comfiest, but they'll get the job done. Let's get the survey started so we can fast track our way to the concert teleportation. Sounds great, lead the way. Alright Doc, follow me to the land of musical teleportation, but let me warn you, this concert pills gives me front row seats to a Nickelback concert, I'm coming after you. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, I mean, not everyone would let a naked... A half-naked firefighter in their house? I guess they're aware of Nickelback, huh? Uh, what do you want, Hazel? I'm too busy drowsing in my existential despair to deal with your silly jokes. No joke here, friend. I just wanted to get your advice because I know someone who's also drowning in existential dread. I'll spill the tears, though, don't you? Who's this poor soul you speak of? Maybe I can lend an emo hand. Not that it matters in the grand scheme of meaningless existence. Okay, full disclosure, it's me. I hear voices in my head, and for some reason I feel compelled to repeat what they say. Hello. Uh, voices in your head, huh? That's one more reason to add to the never-ending list of reasons why life sucks. But hey, if it helps you embrace the darkness, who am I to judge? Keep on repeating those haunting voices, my friend. But that's just it. I feel like I have no sense of agency. Like, what's the point if I'm just being controlled like a puppet, or worse, a video game? Look, I get it. Feeling like you're just a pawn in a universe's screwed up game can be a real buzzkill. But maybe, just maybe, we can find some solace in embracing the absurdity and finding our own twisted meaning within it. Or not. Life's a joke anyway. Ugh, you know what? That does make me feel a little bit better. But I would really feel comfortable if we could just sit down and talk more about this voice I'm hearing in my head. Fine, fine. I guess we can wallow in our shared misery together. But don't expect any miracles or deep insights from me. Let's sit down and have a chat about your creeping madness. 
Did I mention he has an Australian accent? I don't know why he has an Australian accent. But, yes. Let's talk about the voice. <laughs> hold up, hold up. An Australian accent? Now that's just adding insult to injury. But hey, the universe is a cruel and random place. So why not have a voice with an accent to match? Let's dive deeper into the mysteries of your mind, my friend. And try to make sense of this bizarre situation. Ugh, thank you. Lead the way. Huh, that's struggling with that one. Hello? Hello? Fallout Roy? Hello? Uh-oh. Did I break the game? It's still trying- maybe it's just struggling? Hold on, give it a minute. I do this to every game I play. Oh, there we go. Jeez! Aren't you a glimmer of sunshine in this dark, desolate world? Follow me to my lair of sorrow, and we shall unravel the enigma that is your Australian accented inner voice together. Just remember, nothing matters in the end. Lincoln Park couldn't have put it better. Oh, the sweet sound of misery loves company. Come on in, my fellow tortured soul. We'll drown ourselves in the melancholy tunes of Lincoln Park and discuss the intricacies of... Holy crap, how many times did he say come in? Should have stayed in my room. Okay. Hola, vengo aquí a hacerte un sandwich. Wow, it translates it. A sandwich, pal. What's in it for me? You better not be trying to poison me or something. <laughs> I can't believe it. Translated it. All right. Um, no estoy tratando de engancharte. Es un sandwich que tiene carne de res. Beef, you say. All right. You got my attention. But I ain't gonna just let anyone handle my hood. Can you why I should let you in? Es un sandwich ahogado. ¿Has probado un sandwich ahogado? That's... That's not what it means. But sure. Now that's something I had never tried. You got my curiosity, pal. Tell me more about the smoke masterpiece. Cocinamos la carne para 10 horas bien despacio. Y después... Metemos el sandwich en el jugo de res. Now you're speaking my language, pal. Slow cooked for 10 hours and soaked in beef juice. That's a level of dedication I can respect. Come on in and show me what you've got. Wow. This ain't the family business. I love how, you know, just the stereotypical Tony Soprano-like character. Both times it was just food and it was just God was let down. <laughs> I'm impressed that it translated. What I was trying to say was algado, which is, it's like a drowned sandwich. That's what I was trying to say, but it said smoked for some reason. Maybe just the way I said it. But drowned sandwiches are great. Oh my god, there's so many cops. What on? Okay. Oh, my delicate sensibilities. How dare you disturb my precious slumber, slumber in such an outrageous state of undress. Pray tell, what is your purpose for disturbing me at this ungodly hour? Hello, I am the spirit of this cul-de-sac. I was summoned here take you on a magical journey to a place far, far away. Oh, woe is me, a spirit of impropriety. I simply cannot bear the thought of venturing to a faraway place with someone like you. I must decline your offer. Good day, sir. Really? Really? Oh, no, it's not gone. Kind sir, please wait. I come to you in our hour of need. We need you to come on this journey with us so you, you might save our country. How dare you question my patriotism? What? I didn't do that! I am a delicate flower for such daring adventures. Be gone. I didn't question- I said I needed your help! Oh, crap. <laughs> what do you want now? Can't you see I'm trying to unwind here? What's your deal, dude? Hello, I am half naked and have coffee. Would you like some? Are you kidding me? I've had enough of your nonsense. Get lost before I call security. See, it doesn't work! I was half naked as a firefighter and it worked. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, no. I, I, I want to try this. I want to try this. Go away! There's a difference? Okay. Alright. What the fresh hell is this? Kind of go get some damn sleep around here. What's your deal, half naked firefighter? Hello, ma'am. I'm here to put out a fire and I have some coffee for afterwards. Are you interested? I'm in the hole. Seriously? Firefighting and coffee delivery? You must think you're some kind of superhero. Well, I don't need saving. I definitely don't need coffee. What the- what?! I'm no hero, ma'am. I'm just here to deliver the coffee and goodness. I can tell work is stressful, and coffee will perk you right up. Have you had a gun? Look, I appreciate the sentiments, but I have enough caffeine to wire a small village. 
Plus, I'm not into this whole shirtless and helmet thing you've got going on. Thanks, but no thanks. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's just our uniform, ma'am. I can't help it. But the coffee is extra good. Heard it helps you get work done real fast. Great, just what I need. More pressure to work faster. Look, buddy, I'm not interested in your special coffee or your uniform. So please, move along and find someone else to bother. What do I do? Oh no, ma'am, this reduces pressure. And I'm just here to help with my delicious cup of coffee and firefighter outfit. Hey, well, you don't get it, do you? I don't want your damn coffee or your firefighter outfit. I just want a bit left alone. So take your help elsewhere. This sounds like a deeper cry for help. Are you sure you're okay? You seem to be pushing people away emotionally. It's okay, I'm here for you. Do you want some coffee? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me right now? I don't need some randless shirtless stranger psycho analyzing me. Get lost before I call security. Doors closing. Good, Dude. What did I do different? What did I do different? They're not the same every time, I guess. But that's- I don't know how- What twisted logic I came up with to get her to let me in. Let's try this again. Uh, well. well, 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 what a little surprise we have here. What's the trouble, hot stuff? Are you kidding me? Hello, ma'am. I'm here to put out the fire. And I have some coffee. Hot coffee. <laughs> fire? Coffee and a potential caffeine boost? You know how to get my attention. Do you think, firefighter? Just be quick about it. Oh, I'll be quick, ma'am. Don't you worry. That's what I like to hear, firefighter. Efficiency is key. Now go ahead and put out that fire. And remember to save me that hot cup of coffee. I can't believe- I- I- What have I done differently other than wear pants? Show me where the fire is, ma'am, and how to put it out. I'm all ready. Oh. Seriously, you want me to show you where the fire is? Look, I'm big on multitasking, but I draw the line at firefighter tutorials. Ah, oh, someone else, okay. Oh wait, there's the fire. Never mind. I can see it burning with a passion. Sorry for disturbing you, you beautiful woman, you. Well, it's about time you noticed the fire burning with a passion. But flattery won't put out the flames, firefighter. Get to work and impress me with your firefighting skills. Okay, here I go, ma'am. Step back from the door. I'm coming in. Hold on there, firefighter. You may be ready to put out fires, but I decided who gets to come in. I'll let you in this time, but remember who's in charge. This woman's an absolute fucking maniac. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Whoa, whoa, what is this? Why was that? What? <laughs> Why was that bubble so massive? Okay, finally. 